Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. Hope you're doing great in Jesus' name. Now, what I've got in my left hand is a new Oxford Long Primer, one of the old editions. What I've got in my right hand is a an Allen Long Primer. They got the rights from Oxford. 62, and it's the Sovereign Edition. It's in Mariva Calfskin. I think you can tell why I personally like the, you know, the old long primer, well, it's called the new long primer. We'll get into a, a review between the 52 and this maybe at some point in the future. But this one is just much better in many, many ways. Now, I've said that. Let me just say, probably the finest Bible currently being printed today is the Allen Long Primer. It's done by Youngblood. In the Netherlands, it's absolutely fantastic. But this is Moroccan leather here, and I even like the, uh, the grain of the Moroccan leather on the new long primer, and I'm not a real big semi-yap-yap -yap person. Some people are. Now, if it ever had the art gilt edging, it doesn't now in the new long primer. You know, you can't see it. It's got a few blank pages that helps with the spine. You can see this Bible's gone through its, its better days. But look at the size of this thing. I mean, you just want to get up there and preach with this. Two ribbon markers. And not only that, but with the center reference, look at the size of the print. Amazing size print for such a thin Bible. It almost qualifies as a thin line Bible. Bought this off eBay, cheap, like $10 years ago. I'm gonna show you the size comparison with my King James large print. It's almost identical at Cambridge uh, in size, but in thinness, it is much thinner. And the leather, this is Mor uh, French Moroccan leather as compared to real Mor Moroccan leather, no comparison. Now, I'm going to assume that is your yeah, natural Morocco. I don't think it's leather lined. Look at what you can do with the new, oh yeah, <sighs> goes right back in place. And uh, a lot of people like that. Now, the reason people like these uh, the Sovereign 62 Allens, besides the fact, you know, Art Guild, Edu, they're the finest Bibles quality-wise made, is that it has room in the gutters, it has room on the sides and margins to write, and it's considered an amazingly clear print text type. But I'm going to tell you, there's not much difference it's a tad lighter between the new long primer, this old Oxford, and the new long primer and this. Now this, as far as size, you know, maybe the finest reading and preaching Bible ever in history, besides it's got a few little nuances in the text, that is the Holman Moroccan Leather text-only Bible from the 1980s. Unbelievable. But this one is actually thinner than that. The print's not as big, but it is, it is nearly its equal. Now, another thing people really like. Now, this actually, you know, this new long primer, I've done a review on it by itself. It has a dictionary of scripture proper names, subject index concordance, just like the sovereign. It's not going to have all these pages in the back to write on. But the sovereign to me is just too big, like to carry with me everywhere. It's just a, a monstrosity of a Bible, and uh, it's more of a study Bible. But look at that deep dark print. Oh, I like that print. But I would say the print size is almost identical, and the spacing in the new long primer is absolutely beautiful. But it's just not the deep dark on the white. Now, I'm going to assume 
that it does have the dating system in the center column reference. I'm going to assume that it is it's very similar in the Oxford chain references. But another thing people really want is they really want the red letter. And currently, the long primers are not being printed with red letter. So, now, one of the questions I get that I'm going to tell you I don't know the answer to is the new long primer. Does it change any King James word? Now, my understanding is, is it does not, but I can't say that because some people think it's like the new Schofield where the new Schofield makes some changes in the text, put King James words in the center. I'm not sure that they do this in the new long primer, but it's India paper. This was actually printed in Great Britain. You can see it says new long primer down there at the bottom. And then on the next page, it tells you it's printed in Great Britain. Most Cambridge Bibles are no longer printed in Great Britain. Somebody was telling me they were at Cambridge not long ago, and they were just weeping because they had turned the printing presses. They're farming it out. They're getting them done in Italy now. I think they get some done in uh, Belarus, uh, maybe Youngblood. Uh, but anyhow... So you can write in this. This is just such a big Bible. <laughs> and this is just such a great Bible. You can again, you can see the differences in thickness. We'll show you the differences in the size. Neither one of them really have the raised book bands or anything. Now this is not to take away from the Allen. You know, I love the Allen, and I could use the Allen, and I could read the Allen. The other day, I just got it out and sat it in my lap, just in my recliner, and just let it flop open. It's got three ribbon markers as opposed to two. Read just a little bit of it. Unbelievable. But it doesn't have as good a print as my King James large print, which is much smaller. So just as far, this is just a big bulky Bible. And uh, so this is just a comparison between the Allen New Long Primer and the Allen Sovereign 62. And uh, you may like the 62, but it is a big Bible. Just know that. But you might like big Bibles. But God bless. I'll talk with you later in Jesus' name. The key is just keep reading the Bible and thank God for the privilege of having a Bible. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.